Copilot for Microsoft 365 could be described as a moving target. It is so quickly evolving that often there are new features or capabilities to explore almost every time you open it in one of the apps. It can almost feel overwhelming. But in this frenzy of evolution, there remain features that get mentioned or announced that just transcend the normal iterative steps of Copilot improvement to create exciting possibilities for huge leaps forward in how Copilot can help users to get more done. In this video, I want to look at my top three upcoming Copilot features that I'm most excited for, that I think are going to transform some of the use cases we see today. However, this is just my list, so let me know down in the comments whether or not you agree with my picks and what your top three would be. Before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of smaller businesses. I'm also the author of Who's in the Copilot Seat, a guidebook for small and medium-sized business leaders on how to adopt AI technology. If you're interested in learning more about working with me, or getting a copy of my book. There are links below where you can get more information. Probably the most exciting upcoming Copilot feature is that of Team Copilots. This will move the usage paradigm from that of one-on-one -on -one interaction with Copilot to having Copilot interact with and support group activities. When Microsoft announced this potential, they highlighted three usage scenarios. One was having Copilot be a participant in meetings and take in live, editable meeting notes. Obviously, it already does generate meeting notes, but doing this live in a format that can be worked on collaboratively with all the participants totally transcends what we have right now. Next, they showed off Copilot working as part of a group in Teams chat to interact with the group and help the flow of work there for everyone to participate in. And last, Interestingly, was the idea of Copilot as a project manager, keeping on track with tasks that are in planner and giving support to get more things done. All this seems amazing, but there are two big questions. How will it work and when will it be available? In terms of the when, we do have some information. The announcement outlined that it will be in preview by the end of 2024. So assuming this is a private preview of features that are currently still in development, it might be mid-2025 or later before average users not part of the preview group get to see this. But any timeline here is simply a guesstimate based on what we've seen before. We'll have to wait to find out. The how is even more up in the air. Conceptually, insofar as a feature like Copilot writing interactive notes, we do have a model for this that is very similar to the demos we saw at GPT-40 a couple of months back, where OpenAI demonstrated how that model can be interrupted mid-flow and then adapt its response based on that interruption. We can perhaps guess that to be able to interact on the page in real time with users, a similar feature set would be on display. So perhaps Team Copilot will need to rely on some of that new model's capabilities. However, these types of features seem a long way from what Copilot can do reliably today. And while I know there are startups and open source projects that advocate more for the agent type capabilities of generative AI, these are not for the faint of heart or for Microsoft's generally risk averse enterprise customer base. So how Microsoft threads the needle of bringing us these types of features while still focusing on safety and AI responsibility is probably the biggest question mark for me, but I'm certainly excited to find out. Declarative Copilots are an upcoming feature that's currently in private preview that will give Copilot for Microsoft 365 users and others using Copilot in business a capability that in my opinion is really similar to those of custom GPTs over with ChatGPT. As you'll recall, Copilot Pro, when it launched earlier this year, was promised with a custom GPT builder, and it released and then was announced to be disappearing almost as quickly. When I looked at it in a video here, I highlighted that it was underwhelming, but conceptually my attention turned to Copilot for Microsoft 365 and how a tool like the simple GPT builder for Copilot Pro could be extremely advantageous for business users who were put off by what was then a rather confusing and unwieldy Copilot Studio. Copilot Studio has now become a lot easier to navigate, but it won't be the only place you can create these declarative Copilots. 
which will also be able to be built from code and directly from graph connector data and data in SharePoint. The point is that while Copilot for Microsoft 365 is really useful, it's also pretty generalized in what it can do. And sometimes you don't want generalized, you want focused on a particular aspect of your business. A declarative copilot will be able to focus in on certain data or skills while working entirely inside the familiar interface of copilot for Microsoft 365. Opening up new extensibility options like this that let us better and more simply tailor the experience of using copilot for Microsoft 365 in alignment with what your business does is ultimately the point of this technology versus many of the other generative AI powered tools out there. Copilot, just like the entire Microsoft 365 suite, is designed from the ground up to recognize that technology is only as powerful as its ability to interface and integrate with what you do. Before we take a look at the last upcoming feature on my list, if you're finding this video useful, it would be great if you'd give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Coming from October will be the ability not just to run prompts for Copilot for Microsoft 365 in real time, but also to schedule them. There's not a great deal of information about this feature available yet, but the tidbit that has got me most interested is it's stated that the way this works is that once you schedule a prompt, the information related to that prompt will be sent to Power Automate for scheduling. In fact, you need some kind of Power Automate license for this to work. Now, just recently, I got all excited by the loop automation linked up with Power Automate, which ended up being severely underwhelming. There's a link to that video down below if you want to see it. So just because it works with Power Automate doesn't mean necessarily the implementation will be that helpful to low code makers. However, assuming the connection between Copilot and Power Automate gives you the ability to dynamically alter the prompt and receive the return text, and potentially the grounding links too, back to Power Automate, the possibilities this opens up are absolutely huge. For example, imagine being able to send a customized meeting briefing to yourself 30 minutes prior to any meeting that is fully up to date with all the related emails or messages leading up to it, or to automatically generate a summary of meetings that evening, populate that content onto a company meeting record template, turn it into a PDF, and distribute a link to all the relevant parties. Whether these or other similar processes will be possible is to be revealed, but I'm certainly excited by the potential for a greater integration between Copilot and Power Automate that's tied to how we use Copilot day to day rather than just options for extending it. The march of new features into your Copilot for Microsoft 365 license should only underline for you the importance of your ongoing adoption program for these tools within your business. Getting the most from Copilot and doing so safely is very much connected to the training, communication and leadership your team see in embracing this and other generative AI products. Do you need help with this? Microsoft has great resources on its adoption website to help you adopt Copilot the right way. But if you're looking for more help, consider reaching out to me or clicking on the link down below to find out more about my Copilot for Microsoft 365 adoption package. There's other stuff that might be of interest to you on my website too, including my currently free Generative AI Introduction course for business leaders. I hope this information has been useful to you. Please do let me know your thoughts on these features and your own list of those that you're excited about down in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.